Long before humans were introduced, there was a race of beings who called this world home. In many records, they were described as having porcelain, white, albino-like skin. They were not what we call human, and therefore not what we call Caucasian. Due to the pure white skin of these ancient beings and having albino-like qualities, they were most likely photophobic, which means they had an extreme sensitivity and aversion to light from the sun that now rules our sky. These attributes were passed down to us in legends of the vampires, pasty, white-skinned immortals with an aversion to sunlight. But eons ago, when these beings were at the height of their power, there was an alien sky in the heavens above. Saturn was the main light source, being much bigger and much closer, acting as a great black light and giving off a purple glow. At times, the purple glow of Saturn gave the porcelain skin of the ancient beings a blue color, which gave rise to the story of the blue gods of antiquity. These albino-like gods were revered and mysterious to the earliest tribes of humans and were sometimes regarded as the Watchers who once interacted with humanity but soon left humans here with the promise that they would one day return. Both the Aztec and Inca people mistook the arrival of Caucasian humans as the return of the gods due to the lighter skin color. In the Book of Enoch, at Noah's birth, he is described as having skin like snow, white hair, and having a similar appearance to the Watchers. Noah, of course, was most notable for surviving the Great Flood of the World, in which the salty cosmic waters were introduced to the world, killing off many of the Watchers who lived on the surface. These were the waters from above, holy water, if you will that damaged the pasty-skinned immortals. If you follow the breadcrumbs of the pointy-eared albino immortals, you may start to see things differently and find yourself in wonder of the land bequeathed unto us by the aboriginal porcelain-skinned beings of legend. Jay Dreamers, think outside the box.